Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch and I'm on Moodle for Teachers where you can take free online courses. Professional development is mostly for educators, but anyone who's interested in improving their learning experiences, because that's what it's about, learning experiences, experiencing the learning. I'm here in a collaborative course. This is part of MM15, which took place, or it's still taking place actually, in June 2020. So this is one of the courses, an amazing course by a team of about eight teachers. Wellness, a healthy and happy you. Great title. So editing is turned on and I'm in as the manager. I um, had a question about blocks. So first of all, blocks are left and right. The center is a block, but you can't move things from right to left. You can only move the blocks that are on the right to the left or and vice versa. Some Moodle themes only have two blocks that can be used or one block it depends on the theme and of course also on the version this is moodle 3.6 with essential that is no longer available so uh, the theme will look slightly different but i fixed this somehow there was a question about the font and indenting and what i have um noticed is uh, that you imported this text from a word doc or somewhere else and the minute you import there's a question of getting everything uniform and it takes time you may have to get your size and the font well the font is not a problem you just go through the whole thing highlight it go to the font which is over here font size sorry and you um, can make it small which is what i have done or you go to the font style and you make it now notice i made some changes and it may revert back this is a very tricky but it didn't that's great but notice there is a difference uh, you might want to bring this up you might want to fix it and as i said the reason is that this text was imported and when you import from another from a word doc it is different okay so this is an editor called auto and auto is different from another that's called tiny mc so what you can do is you go up to your profile preferences user and then you can go back and forth with your editor in other words tiny mc which is not the default the default is auto tiny mc has more features so try it out it has more sizes the sizes are different as well as the font so try that and see how it goes for you so i'm back in the course and um, this is uh, what it looks like right now notice uh, what we have done we have changed the bullets i'm just uh, summarizing we've changed the bullets to be automatic bulleting and that's done under over here by number or you can have the bullets in different shapes okay right now there's only one shape there it is okay it's just a bullet shape let's uh, bring it back to the numbers let's go back to cancel because we haven't really done anything so bulleting shouldn't be done manually it should it looks a lot better and again if you want to move things to the right you can move them to the right you can move them back to the left these are all for activities and resources and hoping to um, see more on your course it looks absolutely amazing i hope you give it and facilitate the course thank you so much please keep asking questions your questions are amazing they show me that you have really come a long way you're asking questions because you know not because you don't know you don't know certain things but you've come to a level of learning that is uh, very very advanced and i'm very very pleased and very happy to answer your questions so keep asking that's what happens when we learn we the more we learn the more we can ask but the level of the questions are very very different so thank you everyone thank you for being part of this course and thank you for inspiring me subscribe and uh, share the channel with others uh, it's really important to me and that's one way of uh, paying forward so thank you for being part of this 
and keep asking.